Hello, and welcome to this fourth grade episode of Math Matters. I'm Miss Ott, and today we are going to review the addition and subtraction of fractions. For today's lesson, you will need a pencil and some paper. Go ahead and gather those materials now. Take a moment to look at this picture. How many cups do you see? Maybe you counted each cup. Maybe you saw four groups of four and knew that that was 16 cups. You might have noticed that there are pieces of lemon in some of the cups. They are not whole slices. How could you find out how many lemon slices are in the cups? You can work it out in your mind or on your paper. You may have noticed that the lemon slices are different parts of the whole. For example, the corners are fourths. There are four one-fourths pieces. Along the sides, I can see halves. There are eight halves. In the middle, I can see three-fourths. There are four three-fourths. It can be helpful to think about putting the parts together to make whole lemon slices. For example, I can add the four one-fourths to the four three-fourths, and I can see that I will get four whole lemon slices. I can then add the eight halves together to get four more whole lemon slices. I can then see that the four lemon slices from the three-fourths and the one-fourth and the four lemon slices from the halves make eight whole lemon slices. Today, you will be learning to add and subtract mixed numbers and fractions. Let's think about this problem. Lewis walks two and a half miles to work every day. He walked one and three fourths miles and stopped to get a coffee. His boss called and wanted to know how far away from work he was. How many more miles does Lewis have to walk to get to work? What do you know from the problem? We know that Lewis walks two and a half miles to work and that so far he's walked one and three fourths of those miles. What are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out how many more miles Lewis needs to walk. Is there extra information in this story that we won't need to solve the problem? Yes. We don't need to know that Lewis stopped to get a coffee or that his boss called and wanted to know how far away he was. However, 
this information does help us to imagine what's happening in the story. You will be using your pencil and paper to solve this problem. You might use tools like a number line or draw pictures or models or use numbers and symbols. After you solve the problem, we'll talk about the strategies that you and other students might use. Let's look at some different ways students solve this problem. First, we'll look at Marcus's solution. Marcus drew a, lump, a number line showing the distance from home to work as two and a half miles. He then added the stop at one and three fourths miles where Lewis stopped to get his coffee. Marcus knew that he could jump one fourth mile to get to two miles, and then he would need to go another half mile to get to work. So one fourth plus one half is the same as one fourth plus two fourths, which equals three fourths. Lewis would have to walk three fourths of a mile to get the rest of the way to work. Now let's look at Cynthia's solution. Cynthia drew a model to represent the two and a half miles. Then she subtracted the one and three fourths miles that Lewis walked. She could then see that there was one fourth of a full mile left and that she could cut her half mile into two fourths of a mile to see that Lewis still had to walk three fourths of a mile. Let's compare the tools and strategies that these two students use to solve the problem. Take a look at Marcus's solution. What tools did he use? He used a number line and numbers and symbols. How could you describe Marcus's strategy for solving this problem? He counted on from one and three fourths miles. So he used a counting up or counting on strategy. What are some number sentences that would match the way Marcus solved the problem? This is one number sentence that would match the work that Marcus did on the number line. And here's another number sentence that combines the one, one fourth and one half. Now let's think about Cynthia's solution. What tools did Cynthia use? Cynthia drew a model and use numbers to solve the problem. How could you describe the strategy that Cynthia used? Cynthia drew the whole two and a half miles first and then subtracted the one and three fourths miles that Lewis had already walked. So she subtracted from the whole. What are some number sentences that would match Cynthia's solution? One number sens sentence that would match it would be two and a half minus one and three fourths, which would equal one fourth plus one half miles, 
but Cynthia knew that the one-half was equivalent to two-fourths, so she knew that one-fourth plus a half is three-fourths miles. What are some ways that Marcus's and Cynthia's solutions are similar? They both use the same numbers, and they both had to know that the equivalent for one half was two fourths. What are some ways that Marcus's and Cynthia's solutions were different? Marcus started at one and three fourths and added up to get to two and a half. And Cynthia started with the two and a half and subtracted the one and three fourths. Marcus added up and Cynthia subtracted to solve this problem. Today, you learn to add and subtract mixed numbers and fractions. Let's think about these questions. If you tried to solve the problem again, what might you do differently? What are you still wondering after watching this lesson? In today's fourth grade episode of Math Matters, we learned about adding and subtracting mixed numbers and fractions. See if you notice any fractions in your life at home today. I'm Miss Ott. I hope you have a great day and keep on counting.